shocking channel for another video it is spring and i'm really really excited um one i'm feeling a lot better so thank you guys for your concern and your thoughts two i'm back with another video so this video as you can see by the title and thumb card it is a quick and easy diy just some spring tops um i have a bunch of tops tees and sweaters that really needed a refreshing really needed some mending really needed a re recycling upcycling and so i just bundled them all together and now i have some cool new dope personalized tops to wear this spring and going into the summer i'm really excited i hope you guys like this video hey guys editing nadia here something that i forgot to mention is that next week will be the seventh eighth eighth year of full style ink youtube channel oh my god i cannot believe it's been eight years I cannot believe it's been eight seven years i cannot believe i cannot believe it ah oh, so i started off this channel with some spring diy crop tops and i'm back at it again doing some spring diy up cycles of some tops and that's so poetic i can't believe i didn't realize it so i just have to come back here pop back in real quick and say that here's to another seven years guys we're going up we're going up as long as i keep up with my up upload schedule <laughs> as i was saying for this spring i want to do some quick easy diys um some no sews up until like beginner level sewing something that you can do on a standard sewing machine <laughs> something that you could do on the standard sewing machine something that's quick and easy i am really excited about this video and i hope you guys are too so you're interested in seeing how i created some of these fun dope simple refreshing and restyling to these tops then stay tuned voice over nadia here as the brits say let's crack on so beginning with this sweatshirt definitely belongs to my grandmother with these mysterious stains. I really love the fit of this sweatshirt and I really want to take it and just kind of elevate it. So I immediately cropped the sweatshirt. I removed the elastic band. I'm going to say for later. Then I took my um, rotary cutter and my blade and I just went to town with scratching and cutting holes and slits in this and then taking that razor from that box cutter and just really wearing at the fabric so that it kind of tears and distress and something like this you could definitely throw in a washing machine to further along i think i get used to standing out on my porch and doing strength things and people driving past and my neighbors looking at me but i don't but also Using some fabric paint that is kind of their dimensional fabric paint, I took a little bit of water and a paintbrush and just really went to town with splattering and splatting this all over the sweatshirt. Front and back, I used three different colors and I really like how it looks. And because this paint is puffy, I did go back and add depth and dimension to it to really brighten it up. And I really, really love how it came out. I went in and made things brighter and darker because this sweatshirt kind of absorbs the color. What do you think, Stylist? Is she a vibe? Will you be trying her out? She is perfect for a chilly spring day. Moving on to number two. It is this I Am My Ancestors Wildest Dreams that my mother brought me and my siblings. And I really liked it, the paint, like dot splatters that was already on the shirt. So I just kind of elevated it. The sleeves was kind of tight, so I chopped those off. I cropped it, let it dip in the back. And I did the same method that I did with the sweatshirt with this. Went back in and made things darker, brighter with that puffy paint. Moving on to number three. It is this Rick and Morty tee that I got from the Rick and Morty art installation that I went to last summer. I've been waiting so long to do this. So I went right in with my scissors, cropping it, making it dip down in the back. And then I went in with my blades to really scratch it and give it that worn vintage look. I wish I would have did a little bit more to the picture. I tried to save the picture, but I do like how it looks. You guys let me know if I should have distressed uh, the graphic a little bit more. I did this to both the front and the back. 
because you got to add things to the back. You can't have everything front and forward. Taking some old paper, I just covered up that graphic because I did not want to bleach the actual graphic. The color in it, I really like the saturation of it. Taking some bleach in a spray bottle. I had no rhyme or reason. This was my first time bleaching anything and I just kind of went ham. I think I maybe went too crazy so I went kind of softer on the back. I rinsed it out in the tub, threw it in a washing machine for a quick wash and dry and this is how it came out. I'm obsessed with it. I will be wearing this to death this summer. This is going to be so cute with a pair of jeans, over a dress, with a skirt. So cute. And lastly, stylus is this thrifted cable knit sweater that I've had for years. I have loved this sweater and as you can see, it has been well worn. So I'm gonna crop it to remove that in and as well as I'm going to remove the sleeves just below the seam of the sleeve because I wanna give myself a little drop shoulder action. And I really love how this came out. I went in with a zigzag stitch on the edges so that it doesn't fray. This is a really, really great piece to layer, not only for the spring, but going into the fall when that eventually comes back around. So what do you think, stylers? This is it. These are the four pieces that I refresh and restyle for spring. How did I do? As always, thanks for watching, stylers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and comment down below, and I'll see you next week. Bye.